Climate change has implications for many things, one of which is the disruption of food production, which may result as well in the disruption of food availability, decrease in farmers' income, and increase in food prices which makes it difficult for people to access and afford food. FAO has formulated a concept of climate smart agriculture, which is a smart approach to help farmers take the necessary actions to change and redirect agricultural systems to remain effectively producing and to ensure food security in the changing climatic conditions. The climate smart agriculture practice has three main objectives specifically to increase agricultural productivity and income in a sustainable manner, adapting and building resilience to climate change, and reducing or if possible eliminating greenhouse gas emissions. The Climate Smart Agriculture is not a universally applicable technology or agricultural practice but a site-specific approach that identifies appropriate agricultural production technologies and practices. Indonesia uses local wisdom as the basis for strengthening community resilience in adapting and mitigating climate change. In certain cases, local wisdom, especially those related to efforts to prevent natural disasters, for rice conservation and water resource management may have a more significant role in protecting ecosystem rather than official laws that are stipulated to regulate communities. Myth, rituals and other elements of local wisdom are closely related to nature, which enable to regulate society in such a way in relation to the environment thus reducing the negative impact of human behavior towards environment and climate change, including natural disasters. One of the local wisdoms of Indonesian agriculture in accordance with the above principles is subak. Subak is a community organization of indigenous Balinese people that manages irrigation systems. Subak has managed based on the Trihita Karana philosophy. Trihita Karana is a Balinese Hindu teaching that emphasizes balance and harmony between humans, nature, and God as the creator of the universe. Subak is a word that comes from the Balinese language which refers to a unique social and religious institution a customary law community with socio-agricultural religious characteristics which is an association of farmers in managing irrigation water in paddy fields. Subak is also a process of transforming the cultural system of community, having basically three subsystems, namely the cultural subsystem, including mindsets, norms and values, social subsystems, including the economy and the material subsystem which also includes technology. All these subsystems have reciprocal relationships and also have a balanced relationships with their environment. As a method of structuring community livelihood, Subak was able to survive for more than a century as the people were observant to their ancestral traditions. Water is distributed fairly and equitably. All problems are discussed and solved together. Even the timing of planting and the determination of the rice varieties were decided through communal understanding. Sanctions for any forms of violations will be determined by the residents themselves through ceremonies or rituals undertaken in the temple. Subak is not just an irrigation system, but also a concept of life for the Balinese people, as it is a direct reflection of the Trihita Karana philosophy. In accordance with the concept of climate smart agriculture, the Subak system is capable of managing irrigation with the basics of harmony and togetherness, 
in accordance with the principle of Trihita Karana. On that basis, Subak is able to anticipate the possibility of water shortages, especially during the dry season by managing cropping patterns according to their changes of success. This kind of harmonization of life is the main key to the preservation of Subak culture in the island of the God. With its vast diversity, apart from Subak, Indonesia still has various local wisdoms in agriculture which are directly or indirectly part of adaptation and mitigation of climate change impacts. Back to nature for the future.